I think the challenge for, for many young women is financial independence and what we actually need to gain that financial freedom. From a young age, I think we overlook there are certain basic skills that we may have and it can be as simple as braiding each other's hair to if you are baking or sewing, you know, we, we sort of grudge those, push it aside and we think oh, everybody does that, there isn't a business, there isn't a market for it. Um, starting out with the basics, if you are at school, if you are at university, a simple skill such as typing, you'd be surprised how many people don't have computer skills and who actually need somebody to just type their reports for them. And it could be as easy as a 10 rand a report, depending on what you need to be. So. If you are going to just be a little bit creative or use your entrepreneurial skills, I think you'll be able to find that you can source some financial independence quite easily and quickly. I think what we're also faced with is that I don't think anybody likes to be lonely. So we generally look for company. And for many of our young women now, nowadays, we also don't have father figures. So we may go in with the perception that, you know, this person is going to look out for me, this person is going to provide for me. And we, we almost, in a sense, fall into a trap. If we look at the kinds of examples and the kinds of cases that are coming through, if you're going on a date and somebody abuses you, hits you, slaps you, kicks you on the first date, chances are you're not going to go back for a second date. It starts out very subtle, very grooming, and what may, may be initial good attention to have from the start where, you know, this person wants to protect me. So he asks, like, you know, am I going to get home safely or am I going anywhere afterwards? But later on, this develops into a sense of control over what I do, and it's almost second nature. So what started out as being caring and being affectionate is now controlling me. And then it, it's almost overnight that we may not actually realize that we're in an abusive relationship. So being confident about yourself and, and having the necessary communication skills, the v verbal skills to voice, be clear about this is what I actually want, this is what I actually think, and this is how I actually feel. I think that's the starting point for most young women nowadays. If you sit and something doesn't feel right for you, it's important that you actually do something about it. And the starting point is to actually say something. So if you're getting into a new relationship and something doesn't feel comfortable for you, it's important that you actually say something about it. It may just be as simple as bringing to the other person's attention, okay, hold on, it's not actually right. What was I actually thinking behind what I asked? Um, if I can give you an example, most recently was a couple that came for couples counseling. And clearly coming through from, from the wife's part was she was in, a, in an abusive relationship to the extent she was being financially abused. Um, it was examples that we, she would actually lock herself in the bathroom and she would be af too afraid to come out. And you can only imagine the kicking and the screaming and the punching of the doors. And when we actually had the couple come forward, speaking to the husband, in the back of his mind is he's, he's afraid because if she leaves the house when she's so angry and upset, how is she going to be driving? Or she may, may be driving recklessly. So in his mind, it's a matter of if she's at least in the bathroom, she's safe. Not actually realizing that he's perpetuating and playing into the cycle of violence. So in that particular case, it was just a matter of bringing to each one's attention, you know, this is how my behavior is actually coming across. And this is how my behavior has actually been received. And for both of them, where they acknowledge they both play a very important role in their family, they, they were able to see more clearly how the other party is actually receiving their behavior. And it was just a matter of improving their communication skills with each other. You know, you take for granted, you may think things, you just assume my partner knows how I'm thinking, how I'm feeling. And that's not the case. If you haven't said so, how are they going to know? Mm -hmm.